Uh, and let me explain. Could, so could you explain the positive and negatives of low profile and moderate profile, please? I understand the breast implant is chosen based on the diameter measurement first and then profile type second. Are there any differences other than projection? For example, is the creasing of the implant more evident in a low profile versus a moderate profile? Creasing of the implant. Um, what it, I'm not sure what creasing of the implant is. Does that mean rippling of the implant maybe? Or does that mean that when you get a bit of a crease, when you get a bit of a capsule forming around the implant, which produces predisposes to rupture? Not sure what that means, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, well, it does actually, I suppose. So if it's if that's rippling, if if you mean creasing, if you mean seeing the creases of the implant through the skin, in general terms, for the given base width, so you're absolutely right. The base width is the first measurement for a given base width. A low profile implant is going to be smaller than a moderate profile implant and a low profile implant and a smaller implant is going to be easier to cover. You're always looking for a balance between the amount of um, implant and the amount of breast tissue you've got. Obviously, the breast tissue you've got is set. That is a set amount and the implant volume is changeable. You can decide what implant, what size of implant you have. So the bigger the implant you have, the more implant there is in proportion to the breast tissue, the more risk of rippling, which is, I don't know if that's what you mean by creasing, but anyway, um, so the more risk of rippling, the more risk of being able to see it, the more risk of being able to feel it. So everything else being equal, a smaller implant is going to be better in terms of being able to see it or feel it or getting complications like that. Having said that, you have to get the size you want. So there's no point in getting a really small implant so you can't see or feel the edges of it and it doesn't give you the effect that you want. So as with all these things, you've got to get the balance right because you don't want to, you know, you want to have a, a, a size that you feel is right. But if you're asking the question, is rippling worse with a low profile than a moderate profile? Well, for a given base width, as I say, the low profile is going to be a smaller implant. So there's going to be less volume of implant to hide. So yes, there will be less uh, risk of rippling with a low profile implant compared to a moderate profile implant of the same width because it will be smaller. Um, there's another, this same patient, I think I, I, think I know, uh, is, this, is it coming up later? No. So this same patient has also sent me a video of someone talking about profiles of implants. And I think she was saying, how does this work in terms of my profile because we were looking at a specific profile for for, for her um, and this is a patient uh, this is a surgeon talking about different profiles and um, the problem when you talk about different profiles is that you kind of have to talk to if you're going to look at photos of people with the different profiles you kind of have to look at photos of patients that the surgeon has operated on using the profile of the make of implant he's using. Going a bit around the corner, around the houses here, because the surgeon who is speaking obviously uses Mentor and uses a Motiva implants. So Mentor have moderate, moderate plus, high and ultra high profile. Motiva have funny names, low, uh, demi, full, coarser. They call them funny names. Um, some companies have low, moderate, high, extra high, so they don't have a moderate plus, but they do have a low. So, you know, the names vary is the point. So the names kind of don't matter because uh, <laughs> um, the dimensions matter and for instance, um, I was talking to a patient a while ago and she was saying, oh, I'm not sure if I have a moderate or a, or a high profile implant. Which one should I have? And I'm like, yeah, have a think about it and go over it, et cetera, et cetera. And then she came back and said, oh, I've cracked it. Moderate plus, I have a moderate plus. And I'm like, hold on a minute. No, because in her mind, she thought she cracked it. She got, hold on, I don't know if I had a moderate or a high. And she's gone away and found out that they, they, there's a moderate plus. I'm like, well, a moderate plus is a different make. A moderate plus is Mentor. Mentor call, have, a, have a profile called moderate plus. And the implants we were talking about were, I can't remember what, maybe say Polytech, which do low, moderate, high and extra high. And actually, if you look at the dimensions, the 
moderate profile uh, Polytech had a high, more projection than the moderate plus mentor. So just because it's called moderate plus doesn't mean it's going to have more projection than a moderate in a different make. Obviously, in the mentor make it does. But and similarly, just because it's called high, a high profile in one make might have different projection to a high profile in another make. There's no standardization for what they're calling high, what they're calling low. And as I say, Motiva don't even call them low and high. They call them Demi and Corsa and Full and all these other names. But what you got to do is you got to say, so I show slides. I say, that's a low, that's a moderate, that's a high, that's an extra high of the implants that I use. And that's the sort of look you get with the sort of profiles of the implants that I use. Um, so it gets so I'm all for people doing research. In fact, most of my patients do do research and, and are very well informed. And I think it's very important to be well informed. But you can tie yourself up in knots by doing too much research because you then get into this re realm of like what low, moderate, demi, coarse, or what, what? Where's mine? I'm like, doesn't matter where yours is. Doesn't matter low, moderate. Coarse. We've looked at the photos. You've liked the moderate profile. The width is this. The vol. Therefore, you know, for that width. For that profile, that implant is one that fits your frame. And like, don't, it, it's all on the measurements and it, it, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't uh, necessarily transpose to other companies when you look at, say, a moderate plus isn't necessarily between a moderate and a high in another company. In mentor it is, but in another company, a moderate plus might actually have less projection than a moderate profile implant because the companies haven't all agreed on what they're going to call moderate. And they're not going to say, you know, a width to uh, pro projection ratio of this is a moderate and a width to pro projection ratio of this is a of a high. There's no kind of standard. So they just thought in their own in their own minds or in their own labs what they're going to call low and high and moderate. And it can be confusing when you are looking at photos as well, because like as I say, if they've had a, a moderate profile of a different make, that might have more or less projection than the moderate profile of the make that you're looking at. So it's an absolute nightmare and it's a minefield and it's difficult. And that's why we say, you know, stick with your surgeon, do do your research, be informed, but don't worry too much about these things um, because it can be very confusing if you start thinking, wait a minute, of the the Corsa or the, this one sounds perfect for me. I'm like, you don't have to go to a different, you know, all the implant manufacturers, the dimensions will be there. If you look at the dimensions of the implant you're looking at, there'll be one in a, a similar one in a different manufacturer, but it might have a different name. As I say, it might be called a moderate, whereas it's called a high in another company. It might be called a low, whereas it's called a high in the other one. So it, it is confusing. And I do, uh, appreciate that it is very difficult for someone who's thinking of having implants because not only is there a situation where we kind of don't know what it's going to look like like i said earlier a bit like the weatherman um but also when you do research you will get on the internet and see things which may not be relevant to you uh if you've spoken to a surgeon who's talking about a different make of implant and you see someone talking about um showing photos of look this is a moderate this is a moderate plus this is a high i'm like well forget that because that's mentor those are different implants they're different dimensions to the implants you're looking at i've shown you photos of the sort of implants and the sort of projections of the implants that i use and that's what you want to focus on so it is not straight forward i i, I do acknowledge and uh what i can do and what we can do in the clinic is do our best to help you to come to a reasonable decision basically that's what you've got to get to a reasonable decision and you know and also remember the implants only one aspect of the whole thing so um obviously it's an important aspect i'm not trying to say it's not not important but it's not it's do you know what it's not actually as important as you might think certainly once you've got into a moderate and you know certain width and height and, and, and what have you that it, there's nuances between them and it's not as important as some people think and they and it is difficult people do get tied up in knots and what have you so it is a difficult one oh, i think something's happened on let's see what i can do here um of course people have been saying stuff haven't they sorry i can't see it when i'm got my phone bent i thought this bent phone was a good idea but now you're well oh oh do you oh, hold on a minute is the projection crikey where am i what do you think about teardrop b okay yeah i've done that 
what do you mean by different profile in plants please so yeah so they come as different profiles so profiles so there's coming two shapes the round and teardrop so they're, they're, there's two shapes and they come in different profiles according to how much they stick out for us to say for a given width some implants stick out more than others so you can have a low profile moderate profile high profile extra high as i say that's one of the company's um way of describing it other companies call them different names like you know moderate and moderate plus and high and ultra high instead of extra high and you know they don't have a low so the names are different but the principle is some stick out more than others so what you've got to look at when you're choosing an implant is the shape is really important, teardrop all round, um, and the profile is really important, how much it sticks out. So look at some photos, as we do, look at some photos of people who've got them in with different how much they stick out. And once you've got an idea how much you want it to stick out, um, we measure the width of your chest. And if you want an implant that sticks out, like a moderate profile, say, um, then that will come to a certain volume. So we don't focus on the volume first, whereas most patients do focus on the volume first. So that is the